Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch and I'm very excited because the Holmes Carol's Case um, journal is complete and I'm very excited because Carol's also done with hers. You've probably already seen her video because I know hers was going to air uh, before mine. So anyhow, um, I'm very excited to show you guys and I'm very excited to see Carol's as well. So it ties here with some nice uh, rust colored seam binding. And this journal is pretty tall, so let me tell you exactly. I mean, I think we probably discussed it at some point, but yeah, it's 12 inches tall. And it is about almost right around five and a quarter wide, okay? With the cover and everything. And it has the, um, the piece that we did together for the paprika and tan color combo day. And then I've added fabric behind it. Um, I've stitched it onto the cover and um, it's just all a big collage is what that is. And then the cover is made from a piece of canvas that I have uh, sprayed with the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide sprays. And I used, and I know I've told you this before, but I just want to tell people if they're new and they don't know, I used Peacock Feather, um, if I can find them all now, Peeled Paint for the Green, Crackling Campfire, and Wild Honey. Okay, so I would spray it, let it dry, spritz it some more, let it dry, use some very strong tea. Um, that's what these kind of splotches are, just splotched on there. Um, once it was all completely dry after several layers, <clears throat> I stamped all over it. So that's how I made the cover. And then on the inside, I just have some nice kind of khaki colored cotton um, here. And my pocket is made out of... I think this is Tim Holtz fabric. It was gifted to me, so I'm not positive about that, but I think it is Tim Holtz fabric. And then um, across here, I have stitched a piece of the canvas that I tore off the edge, and underneath there's just a little piece of like music fabric. It just has lots of numbers and stuff on it, so liked that. You could put some real tall stuff in here though, <laughs> for sure. So. First thing we have is our little um, ephemera book, and I did add uh, papers to the back, tea dyed or just scraps that I had. This was um, some paper from when I would color the outside spray on the outside of the canvas, I would mop up with some just copy paper. And so that's what that is. And then here's another photo with some more mop up paper on it. And another one. And they're all stitched around, as you can see. And a lot of this is ephemera from my kit. This is uh, Tracy Fox, the little number there. Okay, and this is tea dyed paper here. So those go in that back pocket. And there is a video for this little pocket. And it's all, I have a playlist for all the um, Holmes Carol's case, uh, you know, pieces that I've made for the whole journal. So it's all in one spot. It's in a playlist if you want to see all of them, if you haven't. And then we have our interdepartmental mail, um, envelope that I did have to cut down because as you know, they're real, they're really big. But anyway, I've, um, added gesso. Actually, I think it was just acrylic paint, acrylic paint, no, it was gesso, sorry. <laughs> I get confused. I usually use acrylic paint, but sometimes I do use my gesso. Um, and then just collage different things on it, added some spritz and sprays and whatever, stamped, um, just to kind of grungy it all up. And then it still opens like a regular, you know, I left all that part attached. And on the inside here, I've just put in a couple pages of the Twin Peaks book, and I've had questions on that again. It's this book. It's just um, that silly TV show, Twin Peaks, but uh, there was a book too. And I got this at the dollar store. I don't think you can get it anymore at the dollar store because this was like well over, like probably two years ago that I got that. And um, it just has neat, it's not even necessarily that I love the story, but see how it's got this, these kind of cool papers. So, 
I've just included a couple pages from there that Carol can use however she wants to. Just thought it might be fun to throw a couple of those in there. They just have the cool typewriter pages and all that. This is the Holmes Carol case digital download that's in my Etsy shop. Uh, this is scrapbook paper I just printed on the back of white. You know how the back of the scrapbook paper a lot of time is white, especially the lightweight. So that's what I did. Um, or the case here or kit. This is my industrial add-on. And then this is a little window envelope that I covered using. You get the little uh, number 10 window envelope covers in um, the Holmes Carol's case digital download. And so I just put that on and added some other things. Here's a journaling card in there that maybe I'll get back in and maybe I won't. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Um, and then back here, I had Watson and he's still in here. So don't worry. He's in here. It's just I decided I wanted to put him in a different pocket. So I made this pocket and this or this pocket, this card. And this card is the card that I stitched through my finger. <laughs> because I was too busy trying to make sure all my little strings were attached up there. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, that has a pocket there, and you can put something in behind, too, if you want to, Carol. It has double openings there. And then just some more of the kit pages. This is another page from Twin Peaks. Um, I put a piece of Tracy Fox's She's Love Junk Journals on Etsy. I put... Um, this was all words that you can cut apart, but I just left it all together because I just thought it was kind of fun all the way down the edge of that page. And then this is more of that Twin Peaks book. And then these are Tracy Fox's as well. And Carol, I do have a few pieces in here that are coffee dyed, so I'm going to bag them separately and then um, pack them in with your thing. Hopefully that way if they do have the dog sniff, they'll just smell that because I didn't put any pages in here all anything in here is tea dyed but um I did forget and do a few tags so it'll just be a few tags in a separate bag all right and then I have um the mug shots and they all have a journaling card inside of them and stitched bits at the top with strings and what have you and this is all um children's drawing paper so that paper is safe I, I don't know how I space that I'm usually really good about that but just got making stuff and not paying attention and somebody did mention that so thank you okay and here's some more of our just regular um this stuff distress oxide sprays mop up and just put an ev evidence this is Tracy Fox um, this is ephemera from my digital, both of these pieces, and I just, it's a little, you can write on it. And this is just done on my jelly plate using Distress Oxide ink. And an old rusty, well, it's not old, I rusted it, a rusty paper clip. <laughs> Music page, more of the kit. And here, these two pockets are, they can either be pockets or journaling cards. Um, they're in the digital download. They don't have the thumb notch. So you can add that or however you want. This is from my um, industrial digital download. This is a whole page. I just shrunk it way down so that I could make some little journaling cards to go in these pockets. Maybe. So it's tricky to do these things on video for some reason. And then there's another one here. Same thing, the industrial digital download. And this is jelly plate print on there. I'm just gonna not try that right now. Uh, digital, this is um, one of the pieces that's in the digital. I just turned it into kind of like a little notebook with just random papers in there. And then our little lady paperclip here with her mug shot, <laughs> but it's just a um, altered paperclip. And some ledger paper that has an H for Holmes. And another piece of scrapbook paper, and on the back is printed the digital. And ledger paper, just added one of the ephemera pieces that's completely glued down. And this is an... Um, 
yeah, this is another piece of scrapbook paper that's been printed on. Same with this one, just that's the digital. And then I just added this um, cluster up here. This is all glued down, just a collage up there for some interest. And a couple more of the kit pages. And here is Watson, um, the paper doll that I did. I just wanted a taller pocket. I don't know, it just looked weird to me. I still like it because he peeks over the top there. Like he's watching out over homes, but I just, I don't know, for some reason it felt like it needed a taller pocket. So another piece of the kit, this is Tracy Fox, this uh, evidence um, envelope here. This is from my kit. I've just stamped dates on it for fun. This is another piece of um, the Twin Peaks book. And that's Tracy Fox. This is uh, my die cuts that I cut on my Glowforge. And here's the journaling card. Just some fun mop-up paper on the back. And then here's our little paper clip. We made this one together. It goes over the top of the page. These are always interesting to take off because they are so stiff and like um, rough because, you know, so they don't slide easy. So what I've done to this is I did go ahead and add some papers. And yes, it's backwards if you go this way, but you kind of have to open it to um, use it. So I've added just kit papers, jelly prints, and that one's not stitched. Oh no, well, I'll fix that, sorry. And then um, kit paper and that. And over on this side is a pocket which I just added this long tag behind the Tim Holtz paper. It just felt like it needed something tall in there along with the, the one that we made for it. And so I'll fix this. How I missed that sheet of paper. And yeah, so now we're just cruising through the other side of all the different papers. And then here's a journaling card here. And then this opens up and these slide out. And these are two of the... Uh, tags that we are going to have to bag separately because those two have coffee dye on the back. This is tea dye. I don't know why I backed them with coffee dye, but I did. So, And then the other side of our interdepartmental mail envelope, and you can write here. I did add these. I don't think you guys saw that, but I did add those. And then um, these here. Very nice. And then here is our bingo card. This was just a little short video that I did. So that just goes in there. And that is it. That is the journal. And so I will fix this thing and put this guy back in its pocket. And I will be 